Alright, to get this haircut started off, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, start in the Calic area. I have my Oster Fast Feeds with my number 2 guard all the way closed. And basically what you're going to want to do is, since my client does have waves, you do want to go with the grain. And I like to always start off in the Calic and go, uh, go work my way up from the top and work my way all the way down. And if you guys notice, I am doing like complete strokes. What I mean by that is, instead of going little by little, I'm going from uh, the middle of his head all the way to the very bottom. Now to get started on the neck taper, what I'm doing is here I have my uh, trimmers and basically going to be starting off uh, making my first guideline. Now you want to go ahead and grab your shavers and begin to bald out his neck. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my cordless magic clips and I'm going to go ahead and begin my first step which is no guard all the way open and I'm going to bring up the line about an inch. Now here I'm going to do it a little bit different. I mean I'm going to still use the same step except I'm going to be working, uh, I'm going to split out the neck taper into three different spots. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, erase the entire bottom line on the left side by going close and then working my way up halfway. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the middle, do the same exact same steps. Once you finish that, then you uh, go ahead and move on to the right side and do the exact same thing. Now I have my number one guard, I have it all the way open and I'm going to go ahead and go up about an inch. Now to get rid of the bottom line, what I'm going to do is I have my half guard and I'm going to start with my lever all the way closed and then uh, work my way up all the way open just to get rid of that bottom line. Now I have my number one and a half guard all the way closed and I'm going to bring the top line up about a quarter of an inch.
Here I have my number two guard all the way closed and then we're gonna continue blending up about a quarter of an inch. So whenever I do waves, I always like to blend downwards. I always like to use one guard smaller than what I did on top, just to remove any bulk that uh, there might be on, on the taper. So here I have my number one and a half guard all the way closed, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove any bulk that there is. Now to start on his side taper, I have my trimmers and I'm going to be starting from the, the corner of his lineup to the top of his ear. And uh, when you're uh, when you're doing this, you want to make sure you cut every single thing, make it nice and even just to make it uh, make the whole haircut look cleaner. Now go ahead and grab your shaver and begin to bald him out. Now I have my cordless magic clips all the way open and I'm going to be going up about half an inch. Now to blend out that bottom line I'm going to start with my clipper all the way closed and then I'm going to work my way up to halfway just to blend out that bottom line. Now I have my number one guard, I have it all the way open and I'm going to go up about half an inch. Now to get rid of that bottom line, I have my half guard, I'm going to start with it all the way closed and then open it up just to blend out that bottom line. Now I have my number one and a half guard. I have my clipper all the way closed and I'm gonna bring up that line about a quarter of an inch. Now go ahead and open your lever and then continue blending up another quarter of an inch. Now with my number two guard all the way closed, I'm gonna try to blend in the taper to the top as much as I can by using that flick out motion. Now once again to remove the bulk, I have my one and a half guard all the way closed and I'm gonna basically just start wherever I see any bulk and just bring bring the uh bring the side down just that much more now getting started on his lineup as you guys could see you could pretty much already see where uh, his natural lineup is 
everything else on the on the other side is basically just little baby hairs that that just grow out so wherever you guys think the natural lineup is that's where you want to go ahead and uh line them up Now with this hairline I feel like one side is naturally higher than the other so what I like to do is I always start off with whatever side is lower I like to start on that side just because when it comes down to the other side all I have to do is pretty much match it and keep it as natural as I can. Now as you guys can see the haircut doesn't really need it but just to make it stand out just a little bit more I'm going to go ahead and apply some color enhancement. The, the actual compressor that I'm using I don't exactly know the name of it so um, but the, the dye that I'm using in this it's called Kiss Express and it's uh, number 98 it's regular black. Now to finish off the haircut I will be spraying some oil sheen onto my client's head. It just gives it a nice little shine without, uh, without having to put any product in it. Well you guys that was the cut. If you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button. Shout outs to everyone that comes back at each and every week. You guys are the real MVPs. But again thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Look at how we live and who are we to blame? I lost so many friends, they'll never be the same. Yeah, you gone and we miss you, we gon' let it be that. I'm still right here where you're